This simple math problem is going to mess with a lot of people's brains. Let's see if they can figure it out. All right, so it says, what's half of two plus two? All right, so that is the question. No calculators. Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna talk about how to solve this problem and why a lot of people are going to get it wrong. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what's half of two plus two? Well, these two answers right here are going to be the most common answers. Now, one is right and one is wrong. So if you have a number other than these numbers, well, unfortunately, that is wrong. Okay, so do you think the correct answer here is two? Well, if you do, congratulations for finding this video because this is wrong. Two is not the right answer. Three is the correct answer. So this is a very sneaky type of problem. And the kind of the main thing that's going on here is that we have to be very careful in our interpretation of the problem. So let me go ahead and explain why three is the right answer. All right, so here is the problem. And really what it's asking is the following, all right? So just to be super clear, and a lot of you probably already kind of figured this out, but what's half of two, okay? So we need to get this part first, all right? So what's half of two plus two, okay? So this is the way we need to interpret this problem mathematically. What's half of two plus two? So what is one half of two? So one half of two is what? Well, most of you know that the answer is one, but we kind of are going to uh, keep translating this sentence until we get to a mathematical expression. So what's half of two plus two? Well, this is one half of two plus two. One half of two is the same thing as one half times two plus two. So one half plus two, you can write a sentence of what's half of two plus two. So gotta be very, very careful here. And I'm gonna show you some ways that uh, people interpreted this problem to get it wrong. So we'll talk about uh, why a lot of you got the answer of two. But of course, one half of two is what? Well, that is one. So remember, when you are multiplying fractions, we multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So here we have two or two over one. So one times two is two over one, uh, two times one, which of course is two, two divided by two is one. Of course, pretty much everybody knows one half of two will be one. And then of course, one plus two is three. All right, so this is the correct approach to this problem. And again, it's uh, not maybe quite obvious that this is the way to do this problem. Now, once I kind of showed you how to do it, you're probably rereading the problem and saying, oh yes, I understand. But let's talk about uh, some ways that uh, people looked at this problem that um, you know led them to the wrong answer because you can very easily uh, confuse what's going on here if you're not careful. Okay, so here is our problem again. So we have what's half of two plus two. Now, a lot of people are kind of thinking about this problem this way. What's one half of two plus two? So they're focused in on the two plus two part first, right? So two plus two is four, and then one half of four uh, would be two, right? So that is uh, logical. Unfortunately, it's wrong, okay? Because what you're doing here, if you're thinking of the problem this way, where you have to add two plus two, is that you're adding in parentheses to this statement. So really what you're saying is what's what's half of parentheses two plus two. Now there is no parentheses here because the problem states what's half of two plus two by itself. Okay, so this is uh, kind of really subtle, but it's extremely important. So this right here is not mathematically equal to this statement where you have parentheses or grouping symbols around the two. 
because half of 2, this right here, is multiplication, right? So what's half of 2? To find half of 2 is 1 half times 2. This, is, this operation is multiplication. This operation is addition. You always do multiplication before addition unless the 2 plus 2 uh, right here, this sum, is in parentheses, okay? Now, if you don't understand the order of operations, let me write this real quick. That's called PEMDAS. This will kind of tell you what to do. So if we have parentheses, like in this example right here, you have to start there. So this is a checklist that goes from left to right. So E stands for exponents. M and D stand for multiplication and division. And then after any multiplication and division, we move on to addition and subtraction. So 1 half of 2 is really 1 half of 2. We can write it this way, right? 1 half of 2 plus 2. So 1 half of 2, again, is the operation that involves multiplication, right? So you've got to do multiplication before any addition and subtraction. Okay, so again, uh, very easy to make this error. And then a lot of people kind of thought of the problem this way. So let me kind of erase all of this. So I'm going to give you another explanation here. All right, so we understand PEMDAS in the order of operations, but now let's talk about another important math word. So what's half of 2 plus 2? So in a lot of people's minds, they kind of added the word, maybe the sum. So if I asked you what's the sum, okay, of 2 plus 2, well, or what's half of the sum of 2 plus 2, excuse me, well, this right here means take 2 plus 2 and add this together and then find one half of it. So anytime you're trying to find the sum or the difference of a number, you are putting those uh, numbers in parentheses. Okay, so the sum of two numbers will be in parentheses. So it's really kind of, a, uh, you know, very, I don't want to say technical math definitions, but you have to be very careful not to insert words into your problem that are not there. All right, so we don't have the problem, what's half of the sum of 2 plus 2, and we don't have the problem, what's uh, half of parentheses 2 plus 2, we have the problem, what's half of 2, okay, so half of 2 is 1 half times 2 plus 2, all right, so that's why we have to do multiplication first, and then addition last, so i.e., our answer will be 3. Okay, so hopefully most of you out there figured this out. So this was designed, uh, at least my attempt at making mathematics fun. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, if you want to review math uh, skills that maybe you lost many, many years ago, let me uh, suggest a few courses that you might be interested in. Uh, first is my Math Foundations course. It's a little kind of uh, mini review of basic mathematics. You can find a link to this course in the description of this video. But if you want to review basic math and then maybe kind of relearn or learn uh, for the first time algebra and geometry, then you want to check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so all these courses are self-paced, self excuse me, and um, I do have a ton of additional courses as well. You can find the information to all of this in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.